Yo, what up? Best new reviews. Back at it again. Tonight, I got something special for you guys. Tonight, I do want to say, before we begin, I do want to say, lately I've been feeling the vibes. <laughs> you already know. You know, we've been more active in the DMs. More people have been commenting. And more people have been hitting me up, man. It's nice to communicate with people and know that we have something in common that's so simple and that's these instant ramen noodles man i appreciate you guys connecting with me i love making these videos knowing you guys are watching them man so yeah appreciate it so much thank you and you know shameless plug if you haven't already check me out on instagram you know we're trying to self improve every day we're not only trying to improve the quality of these videos but we're also trying to improve on ourselves as well um at least i'm trying to man i know i'm like a late bloomer right now but but yeah man you know just trying to and you know get these videos all nice and juicy for you so yeah man let's go ahead and get it so back to what you were here for the ramen tonight man we have the samyang the bulldog curry hot chicken flavor ramen never had these before man i'm super excited for these and these came in the Canadian package as well. Shout out to Samantha again, yes. Now, this bag immediately, once you look at it, it has an interesting look. It's super shiny, it's got a nice glare. It hits off the light, it reflects off the light. And the very cool thing is, it has a, it has like a floral design on the side, on the stripes, each side. And of course, each side does have its own pre-cut. If you don't have any skizzers or don't prefer to use any, for all my pre-cut, pre-cut only you already know as you can see yeah all right since we got you guys down we're gonna go ahead and go over the bag and right away what draws you to the bag is hochi right here the genie hochi sitting on what looks like i don't know man like a flying cheese uh what does that look like to you guys i'm not quite sure man throw it in the comments i want to know what you guys think and then sliding to the right you guys can see it says bulldog curry or genie lamp and then looking down Right here, you see the wok. You see the noodles themselves, uh, and you got some peppers, some tomato in there. It does say on the lower right, made in Korea, halal as well. Very interesting bag, and I already showed you guys the side, the side stripes and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and flip it to the back. And here on the back, you guys can see they're keeping it simple. You got the nutrition facts, and very, very small, you do see the cooking directions. Uh, you can't, you probably can't see it well on the camera. It might have some shake. Um, I tried my best there to show it to you guys, but trust me, it's there. And it just says to put two and a half cups of water in there, cook it, drain it, leave about eight teaspoons of water. And you know, usually right now, we're just gonna go ahead and eye it and cook it because in my opinion, don't be afraid to leave too much water because you could always during the stir fry process, just keep stirring it and cooking it till the water, you know, dissipates, drops down, simmers down a bit to your liking. So yeah, uh, with that said, man, let's go ahead and open it up using the uh, pre-cut. And we are trying some new angles and whatnot. So I'm trying not to be so close. Let me know if you like it all the way close or you know, you like it like this, nice and proportional like this. So, all right, let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, with ease. As usual, look at that. Sam Yang, man, always. Out the pocket. There you got one. Two. And that's it. So you guys got the noodle stack right here. So with two and a half cups of water in the pan, We're gonna go ahead and put that on high. You guys can see the glow, and there it is, the water level as well. Hope you guys can see that. So while the water is heating up there, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the noodles. You can see it's a nicely sized brick. My small hands covering it just fine, but look at that, it's just palming it. It's barely just palming it though, you know? You can see it. There we go, that's a better look. You see that? small hands then we got these right here these two packets one's the flakes and you're gonna throw it in with the noodles and cook it and you know you want to use a strainer with this but I just you know kind of drain it 
holding it with my chopsticks while I'm pouring it and whatnot. And here's the curry, man. This is the sauce that's hot. Uh, it says liquid soup on it. Has a pre-cut. Both of them have a pre-cut, matter of fact. Pretty solid, you know, Samyang as usual. I know they're gonna pull nicely. I'm not even sweating it, man. And with that said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wait till the water boils. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw the noodles inside and, you know, cook it up for what it says, like five minutes. Yes. So cook it for five minutes, just as it says, and then drain and so on. Show you guys the whole thing, man. Just trust me, I'll show it to you. All right, we'll be back, man. All right, so we got the water boiling. Let's go ahead and drop the noodle block in. Ta-da. Submerge it a little bit. All right. And then we're gonna throw the flakes in there with it, man. It's right here, you guys can see. Shout out to my pre-cut gang. Easy. I'm go. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in there. You got a decent amount in there, man. Give it a little stir, just in case anyone wants to see right above the heat zone. Get you some of that fog action. Oh yes. Needed a little assistance there. Too much fog action. But uh, we got a few minutes left, so I'm gonna let that cook and then we'll be back, man. So we're running towards the uh, last minute and you guys can see how much the noodles absorb the water. The noodles just puff up, just simply puff up. And you know, these are gonna be satisfying. They're gonna give you that bite, that nice, that nice spongy bite that you look for in these. So let's go ahead and let it sit for a little bit more. And then we'll drain the water and then we'll bring it back for the stir frying process. Now, before we start the stir frying, let's go ahead and check out this packet right here. This pre-cut right here, very nice. Very nice fencing design and easy to open as well. Look at that. All the way through and you see it's red. Consistency, I can't really tell until we pour it out. So let's go ahead and do that. And of course you don't want to drain too much water. You don't want it to dry it on your pan. But man, the consistency seems very similar to the original Bulldog sauce. This one should have like a curry kick to it. So it's gonna be very interesting. And man, and right away, you get your nostrils on it. You get that curry scent. Very nice and herby. I'm loving it. Sometimes you wanna put uh, your heat, maybe a on medium high or high, depending how strong your stove is, your oven top, whichever you wanna call it, man. But you can see uh, the more you stir around, the more it absorbs, right? It's not much broth and it's getting, you know, nice and sticky. And you know what, at this point, I think it's ready, man. It's just about sticking. And there you guys can see it. It's nice and coated. The noodles are nicely coated. It's nicely stirred. It's nicely mixed. Let's go ahead and pour this down, man. So my attempt is to give you guys the best seats in the house. So let's go ahead and pour that down. Mm. And you know, some may say to put a slice of cheese on top of this. You know, we're not gonna do this at this moment, but the next video, man, we got the original Carbo up. We're gonna do it on that one. Yes, we are. But you guys can see this right here. Looking very lovely. Can you guys smell it? So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. It definitely has a strong scent. 
I'm not sure what to expect on the spice level because I haven't really had anything spicy, so I don't know. Well, besides the last one, but I don't think the last one was really that spicy, so let's see if this one's a notch higher. Mm. Can't really slurp like I want to because it's very coated with the sauce, nice and sticky, but could alleviate that with some, you know, a bit more water. But man, it's super delicious indeed. You're getting the, uh, I'm gonna have to try another bite just to establish another, uh, another thought in this. Mmm, mmm. Noodles are nice and spongy, like I said. So enjoyable to bite. So nice and satisfying. The noodles are coated as well. Coated, oh man, it's just divine. I've used that word before and I've used it, and I'll use it again. It simply is so. Mmm. Man, S spice levels on this isn't too bad. I don't think it's as spicy as the uh, as the original Bodak spicy noodles, but also I don't think their carbo stuff is supposed to be that spicy as well. But you know what? We got the original carbo to compare, but this one is more spicier than the uh, than the last one we had, which I can't think of it right now. But I'll add it. It'll pop up on your uh, screen right here up top. But look at this bite, man. Nice and satisfying. Got a nice little meatball bite right here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Got a nice curry flavor. Oh, yeah. But it's not too strong. The aromatics are there as well. But does fade away with time. Like right now, I don't really smell it too much. But this is very nice, man. There's a nice balance of curry and a nice balance of the bulldog sauce. It works evenly together. It meshes nicely. Bodak, once again, I mean... Sam Yang once again with another banger. Like, yeah, def definitely, if I had another one, I'm throwing cheese on it. So I can't wait for the next episode, man, when we throw cheese on the carb. That's gonna be hot. Mm. Just an enjoyable package overall. If you ever do come across these uh, Sam Yang curry hot chicken flavor noodles, definitely cop them. I haven't really seen them around. Also, I don't know if they're market exclusive, so I don't know, but I gotta check. Because if I see them again, I definitely gotta get them. But man, if you guys can get your hands on these, do please find a way, get them, cop them, man, and enjoy them. And you know what? Throw some cheese on them too, man. Mm, sounds so weird, but just please do it. Like, do some mozz, do some parm, any way you want it, man. I wanna throw a slice of American cheese on it. That's what I wanna do. But with that said, man, for everybody watch here to this point, thank you so much. And everybody else that still has a bowl of noodles and want to stick around, feel free, man, you know. We're right here, baby. <laughs> and just to set the mood, because usually when I'm eating these, man, I'm in like a hoodie or something. But I can't wear the hoodie right now because the mic doesn't attach it. But man, welcome back, you guys. Thank you for kicking back with me. Mmm, just simply delicious, man. Flavorful. It's spicy, but, and you know, I'm not popping a sweat or anything, but you know, I can feel my, my nasal, you know, it's trying to cool off. <laughs> but it's enjoyable, man. You go back for more every time. Look at this. Mmm, mmm. I wish there was more, man. We got the dry veggies. Man. All right. That was awesome, man. That was amazing. That was such a treat. Just as the previous noodles, man. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm about to go to sleep tonight and I just had those. I mean, I can feel it creeping down a little bit. I can feel the heat, the spice creeping down a little bit, dripping down my tummy and whatnot. But, you know, I don't mind it. It's worth the risk and it's worth playing for. So... With that said, man, look at this. Fresh cleaned it. I hope you guys cleaned out your noodles, man. I appreciate you guys sticking out with me this much. Appreciate you guys watching. As usual, man, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much, man. Thank you. Bing.